There is strong pushback from people who say the memory of an Atlanta newspaper reporter is being unfairly trashed in a new movie. Some of you have even direct messaged me about it already this week. AJC lawyers demanded the makers of the movie about the Olympic Park bombing add a disclaimer that parts of the story about the reporter Kathy Scruggs are not true. But the studio won't budge even as the movie premieres in Atlanta. Centennial Olympic Park hosted the World Celebration. 50,000 people there after midnight July 27th. Security guard Richard Jewell found a backpack, a pipe bomb inside, and started getting crowds of people away from it. Still, two people died. More than 100 others were injured. Jewell saved lives, was seen as a hero. Did the job that I was trained to do. Until a story broke that he was a suspect. Kathy got that story through a leak. AJC police reporter Kathy Scruggs got the tip. There was a law enforcement leak and she just had good sources. But the new movie about Richard Jewell paints Scruggs as someone who used intimate encounters with sources to get information. I never had an experience with her that in any way suggested to me she was anything but a top-notch, aggressive, um, you know, very traditional newspaper reporter. She knew everybody in the police department. Kathy Scruggs got the story right. The FBI did consider Jewell a suspect but later cleared him. But his life was never the same, Scruggs either. Very hard thing for Kathy. She died young following an overdose of painkillers. There's no question in my mind that Richard Jewell was the victim of all this stuff. I also think Kathy was the victim and it's easy now to portray her any, any way you want because she's dead. People who knew her then want to set the record straight. Remember her for what she was, a hardworking reporter, who got a story legitimately. She was not a monster, she was a pro. The New York Times notes there is a disclaimer at the end of the movie saying it was based on actual historical events and dialogue in certain events and characters contained in the film were created for the purposes of dramatization. But you have to wonder how many movie viewers are going to stick around to see that statement tucked into the credits. It certainly doesn't seem like enough for AJC editor Kevin Riley. He told IndieWire, perpetuating false tropes about female reporters and journalism itself should not go unchallenged in a time when our profession finds itself under almost constant attack. Clint Eastwood made the movie. The Atlanta premiere is tonight. It opens across the country on Friday.